Thank you for joining us in praying the Divine Mercy Novena, which begins on Good Friday and continues for nine days until Easter Saturday in pre preparation for the Divine Mercy Feast, which is the Sunday after Easter Sunday. In a particular way during this difficult time, I invite you to join me in begging God for mercy for those who have suffered from the coronavirus uh, pandemic. We pray in particular for those people who have died because of the coronavirus, uh, their family members and all those who love them, who suffer the loss of their loved ones. We pray and beg God's mercy for a quick end uh, to this pandemic. Oh, sacrament, most holy, oh, sacrament divine, oh, praise and throughout the world and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world O oh God you gave us in this wonderful sacrament a memorial of your passion help us so to venerate these sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience within ourselves the benefits of your redemption for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Today is Easter Wednesday, the sixth day of the Divine Mercy Novena. Jesus says, Today bring to me the meek and humble souls, 
and the souls of little children. Most merciful Jesus, you yourself had said, Learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Receive into the abode of your most compassionate heart all meek and humble souls, and the souls of little children. These souls send all heaven into ecstasy, and they are the Heavenly Father's favourites. They are a sweet-smelling bouquet before the throne of God. God himself takes delight in their fragrance. These souls have a permanent abode in your most compassionate heart, O Jesus, and they unceasingly sing out a hymn of love and mercy. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon meek and humble souls, and upon the souls of little children, who are enfolded in the abode which is the most compassionate heart of Jesus. These souls bear the closest resemblance to your Son. Their fragrance rises from the earth and reaches your very throne. Father of mercy and of all goodness, I beg you by the love you bear these souls and by the delight you take in them, bless the whole world that all souls together may sing out the praises of your mercy for endless ages. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world, and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father, the Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and and the ability of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his horrible passion, have mercy on us, 
treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with a great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus said to St. Faustina, Encourage souls to say the chaplet which I have given you. Whoever will recite it will receive great mercy at the hour of death. When they say this chaplet in the presence of the dying, I will stand between my father and the dying person, not as the just judge, but as the merciful Saviour. Priests will recommend it to sinners as their last hope of salvation. Even if there were a sinner most pardoned, if he were to recite this chaplet only once, he would receive grace from my infinite mercy. I desire to grant unimaginable graces to those souls who trust in my mercy. Through the chaplet, you will obtain everything if what you ask for is compatible with my will. Write that when they say this chaplet in the presence of the dying, I will stand between my father and the dying person, not as a just judge, but as the merciful Saviour. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. My God, I believe, I adore, I trust and I love you. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not trust and do not love you. O most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly. I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world. 
in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and the indifference by which he is offended. By the infinite merits of the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg for the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Tanto Margo, Sacramento, Benaramur Chano Vihi, Et Ante Cum Documento, Novo Ceda Cristo Vihi, Praise the Tide Supplemento, Sensum Perfectuvi, Genitori, Genitorque, Laos et Jubilatio, Salus Honor Virtus Corque, Sit et Benedictio. Procedenti habum proque, tam parsit laudatio. Amen. You have given us bread from heaven, containing in itself all sweetness. Let us pray. Lord our God, in this great sacrament, we come into the presence of Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the Virgin Mary, and crucified for our salvation. May we who declare our faith in this fountain of love and mercy, drink from it the water of everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. How we love you. Jesus, we Oh, you lay on.
all praise and all thanks giving be every moment.